Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here and today we're playing some new makeup. I have acquired a few new things and I thought we could do a full face. Some of the things are like a second impression that you may have seen me do in my full face of Australian makeup series. So I've got a couple of the Kind Collective. I've got a little bit of Mecca Max DB Cosmetics that I have previously used in that video, but only once. So I'm here to use it again. So it's still new. But we have a lot of new stuff. So I bought from the, ooh, Chemist Warehouse sale, not Priceline. Bought from the Chemist Warehouse sale. Oh, I did buy from the Priceline sale. And then I bought from um, Cult Beauty and Adore Beauty. Adore Beauty, I won't be wearing today though. I um, After this, I'm filming a monthly makeup, a monthly beauty haul and it's everything that I've gotten in PR and bought myself so keep an eye out for that I'll probably do that after this video because I want to show the makeup first I really don't know what I'm gonna do I have the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24-hour pore minimizer 1% AHA BHA complex oh I didn't I missed that part blurs pores resurfaces skin over time I was thinking of getting this or the mattifying one and I decided to go with this it sounded quite interesting and then this one was sent to me from the Kind Collective, the Blur Perfection Primer. It's also color correcting. I think we'll use the Kind Collective and I'll use this in another one because I said I was going to use this one. So we're going to do that. So this is the primer that offers sheer luminous coverage with color correcting pigments and a soft focus finish. So it's very unique. Packed with botanical ingredients such as avocado oil, pomegranate oil, rosehip oil, kakadu plum oil, kangaroo pore extract. Sheer butter and vitamin E. This primer can be worn alone or as a makeup base. That is so cool. So I've actually done a full face of the Kind Collective. I will link it for you um, to watch. I did not use this product though. They sent this to me after I did that video. So this is a first impression. Let's just do a little bit. But it does have a tint to it. I'm, I'm, when it says color correcting, this is going to be for a lighter skin tone, obviously. This is a skin tone color. All their products have a zesty, fresh smell, like all their products. It's quite lovely. So we're going to see how this goes. I didn't use too much because we are going to be putting foundation on. Gosh, I'm, I'm, it's winter. I'm feeling, I've got really dry lips. I'm feeling all sorts of ways. <laughs> I've got redness. Yeah, my skin's not happy. But that looks nice. Let me add a little bit more. It actually has, feels like it's going to be a really good makeup base, the way that it feels. Let's do a little bit here where I do have redness. I also get redness to the touch, so I've got to let my skin settle before I, if I know if something's working or not. So let's let that settle, and then you guys can tell me if there's a better before and after, because I don't remember what I looked like before. Um, I actually, speaking of the Kind Collective, this is their hydrating lip elixir with hyaluronic acid. It's a really sheer kind of lip product. So I'm going to put this on now because my lips are actually super dry. Uh, this is with sheer butter, mango butter, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and hyaluronic acid. Uh, melts into the lips, helps smooth and condition. And it looks like this. This is one shade, I believe. This is, all these products are made in Australia. They are B Corp certified, so they're vegan, vegan. <laughs> so they're vegan, cruelty free, they're sustainable, and they're considerate, conscious, sustainable, conscious. You've got to read up on the brand. They're a fascinating brand. Or you can just watch my video because I talk all about the brand's ethos and everything. So there's not really a color to that. It's just nice and conditioning and I know it's really nice and natural. They support women, no nasties, made in Australia. It's such a wonderful brand. And um, all their packaging is uh, tree-free global bamboo packaging. The only part, um, products that weren't were their products that are like the three for 10 in Big W. They have to be wrapped in a little thin bit of plastic because it's like a bin, kind of, not a bin, but like you know how you kind of pick. Whereas all their other stuff that is on the display is in proper bamboo packaging. My house is freezing. I'm trying to stay warm. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my warm woolly jumper on. Oh, but I'm struggling. I've got my little tootsies cold. I have like a lot of decisions to make in front of me. So we're definitely not going to do that one. Uh, I think we're going to go in with the L'Oreal. Now I bought this on the half off sale at Chemist Warehouse. But I bought it because I'm going to do a full review of the new Maybelline Superstay. 
but I want to wear this now so I can compare when I do a full wear test with this. So that's why I bought this. I've always wanted to try it. You guys tell me to try it. So I bought it. Um, but I bought it inspired by this one, you know? So this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum with 1% Hyaluronic Acid. Everyone's complaining this is $40. This is $40. No one's complaining about this price. I bought them for 20 each, so I got them half off. But this is the shade 0 0.5 to 2 Very Light, which I think is actually going to be really good for me. I might give it a little shake just in case. But I've had so many people tell me in my personal life as well how good this is all right how am i going to do this i don't really like this style but i understand why it's like this um the other thing is i've bought a sponge is this not going to soak it all up nothing's come up should we just start with a little i don't know how much to use i'm stressing out let's just do that it kind of looks like a lot but it might not be i don't know so, do I have a brush? i got to keep that brush for the blush. i got to keep that blush for the brush. Okay, we're doing a sponge. We're doing it. This is the Real Techniques After Glow, I realize it's called sponge. It's so nice. I'm really loving it. I might have to add more because I'm using a sponge. It might take away that coverage. But I do know it's a light coverage. I am aware of that. But it looks like it's really kind of soaked it up. But it's definitely a good shade for me which makes me happy. I am going to use more. I might even blend it in with my fingers a little bit. I don't love this application. It kind of annoys me. Oh, see? And I don't mind using my fingers because I bought a thing with me. I'm usually pretty bad at that. I don't usually apply foundation with my fingers, but I think with this kind of product, it would suit. Certain foundations just really suit um, an application with your fingers. Did you know that NARS actually recommends you use fingers for their application? I get a lot of people being like, am I allowed to use my fingers? I'm like, absolutely, you use whatever works for you. This isn't as dewy as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like super dewy, which is kind of the reason I was avoiding it because I don't want anything crazy dewy. I have enough of that. This is nice. It's got a luminosity without feeling like I've got a layer of dewy oil on me. So actually, that looks really good. Super natural. Little bit of a glow. Great color. And I can actually, I mean, I can't predict this is my first impression, but I can feel like this is going to have good wear because it does dry down. It's not, I don't feel like there's a film on my face. Love that. I don't like it when that happens. Okay, I'm going to use, this isn't new, but it is new. The um, Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. Because I just kind of bought a million at once. And I've used them all on camera now. So we're going to just use this. And I want to just get that coverage in the center of my face. I have the shade 20 and N. I've been forgetting to say the shades. So 20 and N. I do try and write the shades down below when I have it in the description, but sometimes I forget. But you're more than welcome to ask me if I do forget. What am I doing? I'm using the wrong side. Now this concealer I love because it's got good coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. I'm quite glad I bought this one. I am, I am. I'm going to add more because we're on camera and I want to and that sponge just really takes that coverage away don't go for a sponge if you're looking for coverage use a brush hot tip the rule is sponge if you want like a really nice natural kind of dewy finish bring a bit of hydration to your face love a sponge fingers for the natural and then uh, natural finish because your fingers do soak up some product and then a brush for fullest coverage because it soaks up the least amount of product. Does that make sense? So we've got most soaked up product, second, and then third. So me leaving it there has made it dry down. Oh, that means we know she's long wear, which it is because I've been wearing it to work and it's been doing really, really, really well. I am happy with it. Cream bronzer is a bit of a repeat. It's the DB Cosmetics that I did in the full face of DB Cosmetics. 
So I won't go too much detail about the products that I've already used, but I can, I mean, this is the second time I'm using it, so it's not even an update, but we can see how it's working under a different product. You know what I mean? Different, different foundation. So we will use a sponge. I think I used a brush last time too. So I think, I can't even remember actually. I eat my words on that one. But this is a really nice natural cream bronzer. It looks pigmented when it's going on, but it's still quite natural. And I can see myself really liking this as an alternative to the Mecca Max. I find it quite comparable to that. And that it's still natural, but I know it's not, it's got a nice luminosity, but I know it's not just gonna like slip around through the day. I don't like that. Yeah, that's lovely to be worn alone. Be so nice. But you know we're not going to be doing that because we're doing a full face here, okay? I've got some exciting products coming up. I've got a couple of repeats right now, but so I've got some really exciting products coming up. I might just do bronzer and then we'll do cream blush after because I think it's going to be fine. We're going to use the DB Cosmetics. This was my favorite. It's my current favorite bronzer that I've tried. And I filmed that video very recently, so this is my second time using this too. I haven't had a chance to use it again. Because I'll be honest, I tend to use my project pan and my everyday makeup drawers frequently. Because when I do my makeup on a daily basis, I don't have much time. So I'm not going through my drawers. So these kind of products that I say I love in videos, once I put them in my everyday makeup drawers is when I really test the product and get to have a better opinion. Um, but this is not in my everyday makeup drawers because I filmed it after I did that. Does that make sense? Cause I do try and just use what's in these those everyday makeup drawers. It makes my life so much easier. If you're someone that has more makeup than the average person, we're not gonna say how much, just more than the average person. You've got more than one of everything. Um, having a makeup drawer is really, really helpful, I find. Especially if you're always on the run. I'm always on the run. Nothing's ever casual. I miss being relaxed doing things, just like, Take my time, do what I want. I miss that. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> One day I'll get it back and then I'll miss the chaos though, won't, won't I? People who are a little bit older always say, in, it, no, it's chaotic, but enjoy these moments because you'll never get it back. And I'm like, you're right, I'll never get it back. <laughs> so I just try and relish in my children. I have a four-year-old and an almost two-year-old and it's a lot, but they are beautiful children. So I'm trying to... Enjoy the moment. Okay, we're gonna powder. I got the powder I have been wanting for so long. Da 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 da. It is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I got the Cherry Blossom. This is the one I've been wanting. I went into Sephora store, which is a little bit of a drive for me. They didn't have it out of stock online. It went back in stock and then it sold out really quickly. So I didn't get it in time. I got this on Cult Beauty for 25% off, so even more than the Sephora Australia. So I got a little extra 5%. I didn't have to pay for shipping. So I bought this and the, what we're gonna put on next, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. So that's going on after this. Certain makeup just hits, you know? I just hear nothing but good things about this. And I've even got a little powder puff to use it with. I'm so excited. I've been wanting a pink powder for so long. I got a little sample. Oh, that smell is strong. I got a little sample of the By Terry Rosy powder like this. And it's really nice. It's got luminosity to it, but there's just something about the hype of this that I couldn't resist buying it. So here it is here. It looks very pink, doesn't it? Let's see how it goes under the eyes. I'm gonna bring my mirror up. I don't need a lot of powder. I'm feeling like I look super natural right now. Like I don't look dewy, but we're definitely gonna be trying this anyway. Yeah, that is undetectable. It reminds me of the NARS. My NARS loose setting powder is completely undetectable. And it reminds me of this. Do we see a difference? Do I see a difference? Not a huge difference. Let's do the other side a little bit heavier. Maybe a little bakey bake. I don't usually bake, but just for funsies. Yeah, that just like 
disappears. Oh, I've got little, this is coming off on my face, little fluffs. I'm definitely noticing my skin getting drier in this weather. So I don't want to go too heavy, but that is gorgeous. It is like quite literally blurring. Mm. And I don't feel like it's so white that I can't use it in my whole T-zone. I thought the pinkiness was going to come off a little bit ghostly and I could only use it under eyes, but I think this is fine. Should we do a little cut? I'm just so excited to have it. I just want to use it everywhere. I don't usually do this, so I'm not really good at it, but I'm a bit wonky, but that's okay. I mean, it definitely did something, didn't it? All right, I'm definitely set. I'm powdered down, but we haven't done my cheeks because we have the new, it's not even that new anymore, but I got the pink pop. They didn't have the pillow talk on Cult Beauty. I think it was just sold out everywhere, honestly, because Ma Mecca never got the pillow talk shade. It's as if Charlotte Tilbury didn't like predict well enough. Anyway, let's do a little swatch of this. I just think these this color looks so pretty on fairer skin. Oh, it's not as pink as I thought. It's got a peachiness to it. <gasps> oh, oh, it's a really thin formula. Why did I think it was going to be kind of powdery? Oh, it's so pretty. See, it's got like a luminosity to it. Maybe it dries down. I've pumped too much, so, and I've bought a brush because I wanna, cause it's matte, I thought a brush would be better. Oh, you know what? I'll just use what's on the back of my hand. Oh, that is so pretty. I wonder how it dries down. It's not as pink as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more like a Barbie pink. It's not so much a complaint as an observation. I guess I saw in the media, like in their promotionals, that it looked very um, Barbie pink, but it's more of a peachy pink. I do like a blush like this. And then you can layer a highlighter over it if you want to. I don't want this to get all bleh. And I'm actually gonna try and take that excess off. I wanna keep it clean. I thought they were gonna be like the Made by Mitchell blushes. They really dry down matte. I feel like this is drying down though, actually. Very interesting. It's good that it doesn't dry down so fast that you don't have time to blend because that annoys me when you can't blend fast enough. But I feel like this is fully drying down now, like later, which is really nice. I like it. I don't like the price I paid, but I like it. Yeah, my hand is fully dried down. My complexion's looking really good. Let's do my brows before we continue. I always like do like a brow interval halfway through everything else. And I know it's really annoying to some, but I just, I look at my brows and I say, <laughs> Let's put them on, but I don't like to do them before bronzer and everything because you got your brush and it just puts them out of place and that annoys me. I don't know how people do their brows before foundation and powder products. I don't know how they do it. If you do it, kudos to you, you're very talented, but I guess I'm just too rough to be doing that, you know? And then all my brows get all messed up. Okay, I got a new brow pencil. When I went to Chemist Warehouse, I have a really good W7 stand at mine. Like, I don't know about you guys, but W7 is always a massive stand. Anyway, the, my local one has a good stand. Got their pencil stroke of genius in brunette. I think it was like $3. So we're gonna use that and give it a go. I don't know what to expect, but usually I don't have an issue with brow products. I mean, I do, but not so much with pencils like this, like these micro pencils. I find them to be all pretty similar, but I'm just not sure about the shade. There wasn't a sh money, much shade option, which is why I got brunette. I thought it might be a little bit dark, but we will find out because I'm not a blonde. I am a blonde in Emco Beauty though. I'm getting some nice hair-like strokes, but I think it's going to be too warm toned. It's got nice precision, which I like because I like to shape my brows. I'm not a laminated girl. Tried. I tried to follow the trend and then I realized just don't follow it. Your brows are not for this trend. Maybe the next one. Yeah, I think that's too dark, but maybe when I'm fake tanned and I kind of want my brows to be a little bit darker to match the skin, I might use this. Brushing it out softens the blow as well. 
if you sometimes feel like your brows are too harsh brush them again and it kind of softens them i mean for three bucks it's just not a good shade match for me that's all all right and then i'm gonna go with the mecca max brow guru brow guru clear gel just to set it down this one is new to me but i have used a whole one before so it's not new but this particular one is new and it's very good now that we've done that let's add a little bit of highlighter i do have a w7 blush but she's not a match i've been really wanting to try these nars dupes they are i can't remember how much i paid but it was very cheap i got this shade online I wanted a different shade, but then I saw them in store and that shade was not what it looked like online, which is so annoying. I ended up going with Strip Tease, which is a super blushy nude. Oh, it's pretty. Should I put it on? It's not this color though. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. I mean, we're here to just play, right? I mean, you've seen what this looks like now. So let's do a little bit of this. We're not going to get an accurate color depiction though. We're very blush heavy, aren't we? Sorry, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Do we see a difference? <laughs> all I see is that I've got a lot of blush on. That's all I can see. I think I'm gonna actually, you're gonna hate me. I think I'm gonna have to add bronzer just to make this blush not look so crazy. But also a bit of eyeshadow. Maybe I'll just put some eyeshadow on first and then we'll see, we'll, we'll evaluate because I've got a lot going on right now. This is the bronzer brush I was using. It's actually a powder brush. So it might be able to just diffuse, you know? <laughs> Did that diffuse? No, nah, it didn't. So was... for all the blush police there, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. All right, I think I'll use this in another video because this is a little clowny. And then I will do a little bit of highlighter. I'll do the highlighter with this same brush. It's the Mecca Max um, Skin Halo Powder Highlight in Opal Glow. I've only used this once in my Mecca Max video. I'll have all these um, videos linked down below if you want to watch them. Did I go? I'm going in really heavy today. What's going on? This is really pretty. It's a super nat. It doesn't look natural right now, does it? When you swatch it, it doesn't seem like much. But that's why I like it because on the skin, it, it just has a really nice kind of glow. And I've put too much on. But maybe I'll try and tame it on this side. So this is like the pinkier toned one, which I like because I often put highlighter over blush. So it's complementary to that. I do like a warm gold for fairer skin tone as well. I don't really like icy highlighters. So this is really, really nice. I definitely recommend this one. I'll give you a little swatch. See, it's nothing impressive in a swatch, is it? But it looks really nice on the skin. So that's all that matters. Let's do a quick little eye. Now, I don't have any new eyeshadows, so I thought I would bring out my uh, kind, the Kind Collective Color Theory Eyeshadow Palette in Desert Island. I use this in my full face of the Kind Collective. I didn't love this one. I also have Golden Bronze, which I love. So I had two different experiences with these um, palettes. So I wanna give this one another go and I'm gonna use different brushes as well. So I think we're gonna use more of the warmer tones this time. Last time I did more of the green cooler tones. I accidentally dug my nail in this one, um, but we're gonna go in with this yellow first and then I'm gonna go in with this orange shade here. Um, and then I might try and work some darker colors after. I do remember saying that the mattes just didn't do anything, but the um, shimmers are quite nice. Whereas the other palette, the golden bronze, I liked the mattes and the shimmers. I liked everything. Um, so it's interesting that I felt like the formula was different in this one. Let's go in with the orange. Mm, yeah, see just nothing's coming out. Maybe I'll use my finger. And when it does come out, it's not necessarily like sticking. Yeah, it's almost like it needs a tacky base. So I don't have a tacky base on right now. But honestly, I'm not someone that does that all the time. And I, if I want, that's something I, I need an eyeshadow to be able to perform without a sticky base. This is much nicer with the finger, but it's still very light. And you guys know I like a light 
eyeshadow I don't need it to be heavily pigmented but this is just not enough actually I'll probably be putting this up they're having a 30% off sale until the 7th of June so if you're watching this before the 7th of June, big W, they're having 30% off. So if you're interested in trying the Kind Collective, it's the perfect time. If you watch my Kind Collective video, you can see what I recommend. Also on my TikTok, I've done recommendations. The Golden Bronze Eyeshadow Palette, I definitely recommend. I just don't know if I recommend this one. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of this Warmer Bronze shade. It is shimmery but the mattes are too light. So like that's the darkest matte. So I'm gonna do the shimmery bronze, which is fine because it's a light eyeshadow look anyway. See if I can give it a little bit of depth, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. It's such a shame because all of their other products I really like. Oh, actually I didn't love their mascara, but everything else I really, really like. And I really do promote this brand. I like what it stands for. I like the products that they have. And they're Australian. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to use my finger. I just want that little bit of depth in the corner. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? And I don't actually really like using my fingers for eyeshadow, especially when I'm in a rush. I don't wanna have to wash my hands before I leave the house. And then I will get that real icy shade in the inner corner. I just really like doing that. I don't know what it is. I think it's my eye shape. They're a little bit sunk in here. So this just kind of really opens them up. I can't do any eyeshadow that goes all the way in here. It just, I lose my eye. So this little technique is very suitable to my eye shape. Not suitable to everyone, but to me it is. See, this is a really nice shimmery shade. I think doing my eyes definitely dumbed down the blush. I think that definitely helped, but I would like to do just the tiniest bit more bronzer on my forehead. I'm just feeling so uneven. And this is a really, really natural light bronzer. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I think even that powder kind of washed me out a little bit. I just didn't feel like myself, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I brought the quick flick, let's do it again. I haven't used it since and I've been wanting to. So we've got the left and the right. I have the petite eight millimeter. This is the smallest one. My eye shape can only do a tiny wing. And update, the Emco Beauty Dupe one, I wore it to work and it, um, it didn't last. It was scraping away and I wasn't even touching my eyes. I was thinking I was gonna love the Emco Beauty one more because it wasn't two pens, it was one. And I didn't mind the shape of the, the stamp, it was, worked on both sides of the eye. I need to wear this one in long wear. I haven't worn this for long wear yet. But yeah, I was a little disappointed in that because, um, see, I was about to just do a wing. <laughs> so this is left, I've got the left. So these are two pens because they've got more of a curve. Okay, it's a little finicky though because now I'm gonna have to go back and kind of join the line. I don't know if it's worth the effort. I feel like that's where my concern is. Is it a bad product? No, no it's not. Is it worth the effort and having two pens? I mean, is it that big of a deal? No, maybe I'll do this side first. That'll save me time. I'll do the stamp first and then I'll join it all up. Am I gonna do it the same? This is my concern. Yeah, I feel like that's all right. This is a very firm felt tip as well. There's no flexibility at all, which I don't really like. That's why I love the NARS, the Climax eyeliner. It's actually a, um, a brush and it's got really good long wear on it. I've never had any issues. I really recommend that one. It's a bit more pricier, but it's bloody good. I haven't actually found a drugstore liquid liner that I think is better than high end yet. I'm yet to find that. I've done the wrong angle again. Honestly, I can I can do a wing, so I don't know if I need this. Nonetheless, it's nice. It's a nice product, but I'm just not wowed. Yeah, I've got, I'm uneven again, guys. I think because I can't see the stamp, I don't know what I'm doing. Like this one's higher, this one's going straight, this one's going like this. My mascara is the DB uh, Cosmetic Center Stage Curl Volume Mascara. I really like this one. It's a nice curved 
Yep. Curved uh, wand. It's actually tubing and it makes me look like I have very fluffy, wispy lashes. It's so pretty. And I don't usually like a curvy wand, but it's not thick curvy. It's thin curvy, so I can tolerate it. I hate thick mascara wands. My short lashes can't handle it. So I don't feel like this is volumizing at all, but I do feel like it lengthens and separates the lashes. Everything is looking nice now. I feel like everything's coming back together. Lips are a little bit anticlimactic. I have lots of options though. I've got my Burt's Bees in Pucka and I have my Emco Beauty lip balms. I actually think we could pull off the red. I'm gonna do it. I, the only lip liner I have is my Emco Beauty Cheeky Chap. Just like a nice nude. It'll just give some definition, but it's not the right color by any means. And then I have the shade Girl Boss in the Emco Beauty Lip Balms. These are a dupe for the NARS. That smells like candy, fruity candy. Mmm, that's nice. Ah, this is pretty. So I kept three and I put one in um, a future giveaway, which was Passion I gave away. It was more of a pinky shade. So I have these three and then this is really nice. I'll pop a little bit of this on. It's quite sheer, but I really like it. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Shine in Pucker. So it's gonna complement this. Don't really need it, but it's just gonna give it that little bit of extra gloss. So they're super, super nice. I've been loving all of those. That's it, that's the full face. What do we think? I think it's very classical Samantha. I don't think we've gone out in any, I think we've gone out of the box very much, but I'm sure you guys are fine with that. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, I'm gonna be filming everything I've hauled, um, including things I didn't even show in this video. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.